Martin Margotson was one of four members of the Bluebirds first team staff who enjoyed the experience of Euro 2016 this summer with Wales. Along with Paul Trollope, Ryland Morgans and Paul Harris, the former City keeper returned to work with Simon Moore, Ben Wilson and of course City stopper David Marshall in Germany this week. Now in his second spell as goalkeeping coach, his third at the club, following his playing days at Ninian Park between 2002 and 2007, Martin described life in camp, working with the best and invoking that Welsh spirit. Yeah, it's been um, a superb summer to be fair. Um, been very busy as you say. Um, obviously the season finished and uh, we had um, a short break and bounced straight into then um, the preparations for the Euro, um, which as everyone knows were uh, absolutely fantastic. And so it wasn't just yourself, there were a number of Cardiff City staff involved in that experience in the summer and you seem to have all brought that optimism back into camp here and it, there's, a, there's a renewed energy about the place. Yeah, it's definite. I mean, the experience was second to none. Um, there's four members of staff, obviously including the manager, um, Ryland, who's um, head of performance, and, and Paul, who was working on the, um, you know, the, the therapy side of it. Um, and you know, for us all being involved in that environment, um, you know, we were together. I think it was 47 days in total. Um, and as I say, to be around the players and, and the energy um, and the commitment they shown, you know. To, you feed off that as a, as a as a staff member, um, and you know it gives you renewed uh, energy, as you say, coming into into Cardiff City, and we certainly feel that here, um, and it's uh, it's been really positive. They were in the camp, and all the press coverage back home, the, the press went heavy on the togetherness and the the close knit uh, environment that you'd formed at at the Welsh camp, and. Uh, that's something that I, I guess you're all desperate to foster here and it's something that's evident here in Germany because the, the lads are all getting on it's a, there's not too many new additions to the squad and everyone's training with a big smile on their face yeah I think you know the the, the lads you know within Wales it's been a long journey yeah. um, you know started many years ago and the whole group um, have been through such a roller coaster ride really you know obviously with with Gary Speed starting everything and then what happened there and you know a lot of that group were out in Serbia when we lost 6-1 and you know the slogan that we came up with, that the Welsh FA came up with about together stronger, was um, was very apt, and they certainly showed that in camp. Yeah, and uh, you're talking about the journey they've come. It's an even longer journey for you and some of the staff. Obviously, you were capped during your playing career. A number of those staff were capped there. Yeah. And fair to say, it wasn't the wasn't the, the happiest of times in Welsh football. Did it mean that extra bit to you guys to be involved this time around to see that the you know their greatest moment now and to be involved at, on the ground level for oh, that? Oh yeah, it was um, it was unbelievable. You know, it's um, an experience I'll never forget, um, and hopefully. You know, it'll enable me to, to, to mature and grow as a coach and I certainly learned so much from the tournament, from the whole experience, you know, how working with the top, top players, um, you know, particularly, you know, Gareth and, and, and Rambo, just a name but two, but all of them, the whole squad, um, how they embraced the whole situation, how they embraced everything what was happening back home, it certainly um, enabled, you know, us to achieve what we did. Talking about you as a coach, we've seen you putting the goalkeepers through their paces during this week. They seem to be three guys that really get on off the pitch, and you can see that the way they train every day. It's a pleasure to be to, to help them. To be fair, you know most of the goalkeepers and, and the goalkeeper unions, as they say around the country, are very close. They have to be because, as you see, they work so closely, um, and you know they work extremely hard. Pre-season for a goalkeeping coach is difficult to get the balance right because. When the season's up and running, you know they'll have different days where they won't do as much going into games. But sometimes we don't know too much about the opposition, so they could end up standing in the game doing nothing. So it's difficult balance to get right. So we've sort of come up with a philosophy where they'll work maybe more than what they would do in the season to get the foundation in, um, and it seems to be working well. And a lot of ability with that trio you've got to work with every day. Yeah, obviously we've got the experience, and you know, of Dave, um, and and he sets the standards within the group. Obviously, um, Simon's um, you know a great lad and a very good goalkeeper, and then we've got the the the, the Ben being the younger one who's um, got all the attributes. His his next test for Ben Wilson now will be can he cope with the mental side of it. Um, apart from that, he's got everything else. We spoke briefly about some of the new members uh, of the coaching staff. We've got a returning. Uh, coaching staff member that you've, you know, known throughout the years. You played for him in his first interior, uh, Lenny Lawrence. Uh, what's it like to have him back and have it's him a as pleasure. a colleague? It's a pleasure. I mean, thousand plus games. His experience is second to none. You know, he's in an elite group of 
uh, managers and coaches in the country. Um, you know, Lenny actually signed me going back in 2002 for the club. So to 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 link back up with him now on the coaching side of it, um, and to listen to him in, in in the meetings, and you know, we have a lot of meetings um, as a staff preparation etc and you know what Lenny has to offer is second to none and uh, I guess the second really training camp we've had this summer now after the, the Champions get away to get the fitness into the group Are you going to get the season underway now? Yeah I think so I mean the, we've obviously Rylan Morgans who was also you know um, the head of performance with Wales and Rylan's experience coming into the preparation um, is, is fantastic you know he's worked at the highest level um, and everything there's no stone unturned you know to see the training and the expertise and the thought that's gone into it they, you know they look really well prepared and uh, small margins last year that just missed out on the playoffs it went it went down to the wire there's a, a renewed sense of optimism here amongst the camp that clearly that top six is uh, is achievable this time around undoubtedly um, I say with the preparation and 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 you know the the tactical um, the tactical side that the gaffer and Lenny and, and Robes and you know myself bring to it now, on top of the physical preparation that the lads are getting now, hopefully it's going to be enough, and we're pretty sure it is. And you, you talk tactically, we've made that switch in the training and a couple of the training games to a three at the back. In terms of a goalkeeping point of view, how, how much uh, how's communication going to be key with that? It's always key, you know, no matter what system. <laughs> no matter, yeah, having a bit of banter, the gaff. No, no matter what system, you know, communication from a goalkeeper, whether it's a back four or three, it's vital. You know, there's different stats that go back, you know, throughout the Premier League, etc. About communication can save you 10 to 15 goals a season. Um, and yeah, the systems, of course, they affect how, how how we play. But from a goalkeeping point of view, you know, information will be the same. And we've seen you coaching a key, another key area, which is defensive set pieces. Uh, you know, it, it just seems to get more and more important every year at the championship level. Set pieces, um, it really is a key key element now, isn't it? It is. There's so many games won and lost, um, and my philosophy is, I try to give the eleven or the, you know, the, and, and the whole squad the emphasis on responsibility. It has to be. Um, it's it's quite simple. You know, we want the the philosophy in the team. What can we do to prevent a cross, even on dead ball situation? And then how are we going to mark? And your man is your responsibility. It's very basic, but it's very effective.